The kind of things that you do at school are all influenced by your mental well-being, your work, your extracurricular activities. Um, they're only going to be successful and you're only going to really enjoy them if you're in a positive state of mind. So I think it's really important to kind of take five, check like how am I feeling. I think it's important to think about mental well-being because um, it can affect your mood and how you interact with other people and um, Basically, you want to live each day in a really positive way and make other people feel positive. I think we think so much about our physical well-being. Sometimes we forget what's going on in our minds. So if you were physically ill, you would do something about it. So I think it's important we recognise you should do the same for mental health. We all have decisions to make and we'll all face things throughout our lives and as we grow older that we need to be really resilient to and we need to be able to cope with. So working out strategies um, and learning to deal with them in the good times um, is very important. So a difficult time in my past was when my brother was posted to Afghanistan and sadly um, got injured quite badly during an attack. Uh, I found that the best way to cope with this was to take each day at a time and to not try and focus on the worst but try and remain positive and think that it could always be a lot worse and actually take how lucky he was to be alive and survive. My father died when I was nine and back then that was it. We never talked about him again. He just didn't figure in my life ever again. No discussion, nothing. When I was 13 my mother remarried and I had to move to someone else's house which was out of the area so I lost all my friends and so there was quite a lot of stuff going on and I never really dealt with it um, as a child, I think. So I'd say that happened when I was nine. It probably took me till I was about 49 to realise that actually there was a something just a little bit incomplete in my life and I hadn't really dealt with that very well. So I find it really important to, it sounds a bit corny to say, to be with nature, but a blue sky and sunshine makes you feel so much better. So a walk along a river is for me absolutely perfect. Um, if ever I'm feeling a bit like stressed or anything then I'll take some time out and watch my favourite TV show which will always make me laugh and cheer me up a bit. I play my PlayStation which I, which I really really enjoy um, and I play online a lot of games with my friends um, and I also watch a lot of sports um, and referee rugby games on the weekends. I tend to sing to myself and I'll walk into, say, the staff common room singing and someone will go, oh, you're happy. And I say, well, actually, this is how I best deal with stress. To help my mental health, I always try and get, like, nine, at least nine hours sleep a night and always eat properly. And I find that just makes me feel better. Being around people who make me laugh is good, uh, particularly bad, you know, anything can be made better with laughter, bad puns. Uh, jokes, anything that, that brings on uh, something that would make me laugh. One of my favourite things to do to relax is baking. I find it's a really nice outlet to just kind of get in your own world, sing along to some music and you get a cupcake at the end. So. This is my kind of Bible, country walks and uh, my wife and I uh, go for long walks, 17, 20 miles um, and we find that that re-establishes a more natural rhythm in our lives. I try when I can to kind of do stuff that I enjoy without the pressures of work because I think so much of our life is centred around schoolwork. So in the evening I just take time to do something that I enjoy doing. Um, going out rowing, uh, particularly being with, with crewmates um, in that sort of team environment and being on the water which is really calming. And when I can't do that, and more often obviously, um, I run and I run around the bridges here because uh, it's just a lovely space and um, I love to see water. It really has a lovely calming effect and gives you time to think, you know, time to really work things out. If I'm feeling stressed out and I need to calm down, I often like just talking to my friends. Um, exercise is also a really good release, even if that's just going for a walk. I'll go for a run or I'll do a bit of sport, a bit of core. I think um, a really good resource for that is the gym at school. Um, and I think that's just because it gets those endorphins running. Afterwards, you feel like you've achieved something. I, um, I did have a, a period of um, quite severe depression, actually, and, and mental health issues when I was still rowing seriously in the Olympic team. And um, I had a period of where I felt I was being bullied by one of my crewmates. And um, 
I learnt quite a lot about dealing with things then and, and first and foremost was recognising that you have an issue um, and then being able to take some time out and being able to deal with it and learning what sort of strategies to use. One of the problems um, often when you've got lots of exams etc is to feel anxious and to worry about things and I used to be a really big warrior um, but actually have found kind of asking myself the question can I do anything about this um, and if you can't then not worrying about that thing until it happens, until you can do something, really helps. I think it's important that students recognise that while um, in a, an educational establishment like Latimer, academic success is obviously uh, important and valued, uh, that it's only of any real value to the individual if it brings them happiness in their lives uh, and a feeling of achievement as human beings.